Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson and welcome to Microsoft Project Made Easy. Today we're going to be looking at linking documents to your project. Often when we're working on a project schedule, we want to refer to specific documents. And so if we're going to always be referring to these documents on a constant basis, it's nice to be able to quickly access them. The other thing is with schedules, sometimes photo documentation and connection to photos can help sort of build the story because when you're developing a project schedule, you want to sort of tell a story with the schedule, especially when you're doing updates later on, you can have photos and you can insert links to those photos uh, with the actual activity. So it can be really helpful that way to tell a story, especially sometimes when you're trying to explain something to a sub trade or to a client, or maybe you want to print out something that you want to put up on the wall and say, this is what we're targeting at a specific point in time. It can be very, very helpful that way as well. It could be a change order as well that you insert into a schedule and you want to link the change order to that particular line item. So somebody could review it at any point in time and get a good sense of what was involved with it, as well as the activities and the durations which you'll have in the schedule. So we're always trying to look at ways that we can use visual tools or connect with other documents to tell the whole story of what's going on. All right, so how do we do that? It's not really a complicated process at all. Uh, for example, let's say this house project. If we were all the time using uh, a specific set of drawings with this house, why don't we link to that? So what we can do is, this is the indicator column, and I've said this before, very, very useful column. So if you don't see it on your screen, all you have to do, so I just deleted it from view, is right click, go insert column, type I for indicator, and that way you can bring it up on any screen. See it says indicators there? So if, as long as you know the first letter of the column that you want to insert, then it will appear. So you could insert this on any of your various if I click on the square icon box on any of your various screens. For example, if I right click here and I go insert column again, indicator, and there it is. And I find the indicator column is really helpful because it'll show you if you've got constraints, special calendars, and it will show you if you have hyperlinks. And that's what we're going to do today. So I've got this Doncaster house. I want to connect it to uh, my construction drawings. So if I go all the way to the bottom, you see it says hyperlink there and I click on that. It brings up the insert hyperlink box. And then what I have to do is I have to source the particular folder that I'm after and I happen to know where it is. But you can kind of see this is a little bit of a pain. I got to go looking for it and it's you know takes a little bit of time and if i'm always doing this do i always want to open up explore and start looking for it maybe not so i just typed okay i actually I haven't typed okay yet i just clicked on the link and up here it says text to display well if i don't do anything it's going to put the whole reference name of the document so i'm just going to delete that out and i'm going to say uh, I'm going to say IFC issued for construction uh, drawings Doncaster house. If there was something else I wanted to add that was a little bit more um, to that, I could. So I could go to this screen tip here and I could say uh, every drawing except site plan as an example. If I knew something was missing out of it or something like that, I could do that. All right, so the address, which is where it's housed on your computer uh, or in the cloud, wherever that may be, it will be listed down here. All right, and this works as long as you don't move the files around. If you move your files out of those folders, then it'll just say it's a broken link that it can't find the um, link to it and then you have to just redo it if that's the case but if you're leaving your files where they are and you've got them organized fairly well you click OK and it brings up this hyperlink icon over here and you see how it says IFC issued for construction drawings Doncaster house and then below where I put that little extra note every drawing except site plan right if I click on that 
Uh, it's going to send me a warning, you know, this could be a, a special concern. Uh, well, I just set it up so it's not because I know it's my folder. And now I have my drawings uh, directly linked. So if I was wanting to look at something, let's shrink it a little bit maybe. If I was wanting to look at something with the foundation, a particular dimension, or I wanted to find something out, I could always just look at it pretty quickly. And then I can quickly go back with Alt and Tab. By the way, you can switch quickly between screens with the Alt and Tab buttons um, just quickly flashing. Anything else you've got open on your desktop will um, show up there, but that is what it will do. So Alt Tab is another really useful uh, tip for you from that perspective uh, to switch screens really quickly. I think a lot of people surprisingly don't know that one, but it's really, really nice. And then you just click Tab again and it will go to the next one that's on your list and it'll just toggle back and forth between the two, which is really a nice little time saver there. Okay, so that was to insert a hyperlink for a set of drawings. You know, the other thing is, like I said, you might want to insert a hyperlink to uh, a photograph and uh, that you've taken for the uh, project. So I could click on this and again, right click, go down to the bottom and say hyperlink. I can uh, go for my folders. This one I think is going to be under a different folder if I recall. I had MS Project Made Easy. This is number 33. So I'll just go down here, I click in there. And I've got excavation uh, started. I got footing formed. Okay, so form footings. All right, so I'm going to click that one. Okay. And now I've got an image of the formed uh, footing. Uh, for the project. So then I would have that image that I could just quickly bring up. So if you were trying to explain something or maybe you also wanted to get a screenshot and you wanted to show the footing and you wanted to show that this is done, you could even highlight this in a different color and you could go to the snipping tool if you go S for snipping or if you use uh, some of the other uh, snipping tools um, that are available that can be helpful too. And so let's go a new one here and I'll just click new and that'll bring up the screen. And then I could take a screenshot of my uh, schedule with the image um, built into it if I wanted to. And if I was going to put that or send that to somebody uh, to show this has been completed or what have you, then I've easily done it and I've connected it to my actual document. So I could have a whole bunch of as-built photos as I upgrade my schedule, uh, which can be really helpful. Of course, some of the different software tools that we use for productivity like uh, Procore, Fieldwire and other ones, it's always good to have lots of photos that you're uploading to them that are date stamped uh, that can also be referenced to this, which is very, very helpful. Everything is about timing, dates, uh, when you said you were going to do something and how you want to explain it. The same thing would be if I had a change order in this document, I could put a hyperlink to the change order document and that would be helpful too, right? Like, so I've got the change order uh, that I've got listed with the activities and durations and then I could put a hyperlink to the change order and that would explain all of the costing and the listing out of all the details of that particular change order. So it can be a very quick reference tool, especially if you're going to be going back and forth with certain things or you want to have it sort of built into this because later on, you know, even when you complete the project and you've got these hyperlinks that are to um, various uh, pit photographs that you took, it can be a great sort of as built document to help you plan the next house. And you could even have notes that would reference and explain what happened on this particular activity by double clicking on the activity and putting a note, uh, hyperlink, hyperlink, uh, form footings, photo illustrates, challenges of um, subsoil whatever you want to put in it you could do that click OK and then you've also got a note there as I said the indicator column is really good for those types of things the other thing is you can also hyperlink to a you know if you wanted to insert a hyperlink to a web page right so you can go hyperlink and you can let's see if I've done this I did it before but if you have a you could go to the web page that you want 
I'll do this now. So I'm just going to go over to my uh, YouTube page. So I'm just going to type uh, um, YouTube. So we'll go. There we go. So I've just typed in my YouTube page and I've got the web address for that. So I'm just going to control. I'm basically going to copy that. And I'm going to go back, Alt-Tab. Remember I said you could use Alt-Tab. And go back to our document here. And down here, I'm going to go in and uh, put in the web address that I just copied there. And up here, I'm going to put in my information. So I'm going to say Tom Stevenson YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't do that in the schedule. Uh, I'll click OK, uh, typically. But I might go to a web link to a uh, toilet manufacturer, bathtub manufacturer, and maybe it's the shop drawing for that particular bathtub, and I want to have it connected so I can, I found it. I just want to be able to quickly reference it and find it again. Then I might do that. And then that should, if I click on it, it'll bring up my web page, and there you have it. So there's a hyperlink then to any web page that you are after. The trick to remember with this one is, I find uh, if you're going for a web page, just remember that the address is down here, and then you can type in whatever you want to call it up here. Uh, when I first started doing it, I was playing around with up here. This is just going to say what it says when you hover over it. Down here is the connected address of where you're going. So that's helpful for you to remember. And that's really all there is to it, to create hyperlinks to other documents. Really, really handy tool, uh, easy to use, and I hope that helps you. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, just remember I have a lot of MS Project videos as well, everything construction. I'm a professor of construction management, and I do a lot of training and consulting with very big companies. So I've learned a lot over the years, and I'm trying to share that information. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see uh, I have a number of playlists under these various areas. And if you're just starting out in MS Project, you probably want to start in some of the earlier ones. If you're trying to build your skills, then look at the titles and see what uh, interests you. Uh, don't forget to click the likes and if you have questions or, or you're looking for ideas or you'd like me to do a video on a particular topic, if I know it well enough, I will uh, look into it because I really like when I have a lot of comments and questions from uh, the viewers. Also, uh, click notifications and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Don't forget to have a wonderful day.